Hello everyone, Timer over here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at a upcoming game called Patron. Patron is a survival colony city builder. Um, very similar to something called like um, uh, Banished from way back 2013-2014 area. Um, but before the channel actually was here. But I have played Banished, uh, just not featured any of the content. But this game is very much in the same vein as... Um, has banished almost like a spiritual successor uh, but you can definitely tell the developers took some cues from banish now there are some new interesting um tidbits of this um, game thus far that we have in the the demo a so, sort of a social construct if you will uh, within the game that you have to sort of juggle back and forth every decision you make is going to uh increase opinion on certain groups or decrease those opinions of certain groups so you're sort of in this juggling thing to keep everyone appeased uh, very interesting while still dealing with the uh, normal survival aspect of these games um, and it will become very evident very quickly um, how this can relate to something like banished because i will tell you i played a little bit of a test game earlier and uh, my entire population started dying off because of mm, food shortage got to keep that food up anyway <laughs> we're going to be taking a look so this is the demo um, the game itself is due out on the 10th of august so next week um, from the time of this recording and I'm just going to try and mess around with it see how it is um, go in here and take a look at what is currently available in the uh, the demo you can access the demo as of the 4th when I'm recording this August 4th um, it is available on Steam to download be sure to check out the description below um, to do that if you're interested so we're going to go ahead and hit new game our town name is going to be um Time bill, and we're gonna choose a banner here. So let's see. Tree. I'm looking for any. Uh, that's close to what I'm looking for. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any sort of like um, clover or or whatnot. We might just go with this because I like green. That's kind of that's nowhere near clover but yeah it's sort of that way so we're going to go ahead and take this one uh we're going to go continue so new game mediterranean this is the available map currently so if you've watched any videos of patron thus far everyone who's playing the demo is playing on the mediterranean map looks like there are a decent number of starting maps here for when the actual game goes live uh, but for right now, this is it. Now, one thing I will say, I'm a little concerned. Um, I would like to see, um, I hope that there's some sort of procedurally generated map or something um, down the line, because if there's just regular maps like this, that might get a little stale after a while. I don't know. That's just my, my opinion, um, but we'll see. Anyway, let's jump into the Mediterranean here. So soil fertility is high. Uh, or richness is high and the weather is temperate so yeah we'll see how it goes all right let's go ahead and continue so we've got a number of new uh game settings here presets we could change it to hard which then automatically adjusts your resource or, um, your settings below that to sort of make it a little bit harder we can do easy we're just going to do normal i think now, honestly after my earlier thing i feel like going easy but eh, we'll see uh, custom we can just modify things as needed if we wish okay so starting month yep that's all minimum yeah, sure whatever um yeah i think we'll go with the default normal state that's it continue okay so hopefully my people don't starve this time around it sneaks up on you and it is very unforgiving that's for sure uh let's go ahead and disable the uh, tutorial um now there is music i've turned it way down just because of things with youtube um but it is pretty present pretty pleasant music here you can hear it in the background in fact i am going to lower that just a scooch and by that i mean we're going to just turn off the music altogether <laughs> so yeah we'll see but it is good music um, all right, so WASD to move around. That's good. I can also turn the camera with uh, Q and E or middle mouse button. Okay, got that. 
Uh, we can also move around by dragging the or clicking on the right button on the mouse and moving around, dragging it. There we go. So here's the map. Looks pretty nice. Um, like I said, everybody who's playing this demo is starting the exact same spot. So yeah, here's our colonists over here. There they are. We've got a few children. We've got a few elder, older people and young people. So I think these are children here. These are the young, uh, what's labeled as young. And then we've got the adults. So if we take a look, we'll zoom out just so we don't have the, um, the noise. Uh, residents here, we've got 10 adults, six young, youngsters, and three children. Adults are the only ones that actually work. Um, so we'll have to wait for our children and our youngsters to grow up to actually provide them jobs. Very similar to Banished in that respect. Uh, this game has coins that you are building, um, that you do use to build out buildings and do research, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. Uh, but interesting. So we got that. We've got tools. We've got stone. We've got iron. We've got a few bits of coal. We've got some lumber here and we've got food currently producing nothing. Uh, now some things aren't shown here. We do have, so if we take a look at our additional panels here and take a look at our stocks, this shows us all of our inventory. So we do have, um, where is it at? Leather here. 15 so we're going to build building tents and that's where that comes in but it doesn't show here i would kind of wish that we could tweak this or um add things or take things off that we want to track or hopefully maybe in the the actual uh, game when it's released i think it's it may be released in early access but either way i hope that they actually add ways of customizing this or add more items in here so we'll see anyway uh we've got clothes we've got beads we've got all this kind of stuff perfect okay so first things first we are going to need houses homes um, and we are going to need a food source. So we got a little bit of a river here or a lake or a bay area. What is this? Is this a bay? Yeah, I think it's sort of like an inland bay area. I don't know. Uh, we don't actually have the ability to build a fisherman's hut yet. So we got to actually pay money as well as logs and research that. So there is a research tree, pretty extensive. Um, and does come with the, um, you can't go through pretty far from mine, I gathered. I did not get very far in my little test game. So it does look like it cuts off at some point. Uh, maybe right here, town hall. Yeah, it looks like that's where it cuts off. So you can make it up to the town hall and that's pretty much it. But there's still a lot in the demo to, to mess around with, like all this stuff, Whew, very much. Um, like I said, I didn't make it very far. Anyway, we need to get homes and we need to get a food source. What we do have is doo -doo -doo -doo, production buildings. So down here, we've got production buildings. Um, we do have a gatherer shelter. Uh, gathers various wild fruit, mushrooms, and other produce. Well forested areas um, are more abundant in these. So we do need 40 gold nuggets and uh, 15 lubber, 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 uh, lumber in order to build this um gather a shelter we also have a hunting lodge um and i think that's it just those two food sources so we're going to want to get those down as soon as possible uh but first let's get our housing because housing accumulates taxes which are our gold nuggets here so we're going to want to get those houses down now we have two options initially we were actually three but mainly two for actual family growth we've got tents and we've got houses i'm gonna put down uh, initially i'm gonna put down one house and four tents um let's throw these down um do i want to go over here so it is worth noting that when you plop these down you can cancel them, but you lose out on half the resources. Uh, so do keep that in mind that wherever you plop these, that's where you're going to want to put your house. Um, so we can't do anything over here. If I hit G, I've got myself a grid. And there's various different panes or views here. So this is the grid view. This is the soil fertility grid. So green is fertile soil. 
um, a red, or this is the ore grid. So ore is mineables. So, you know, metal, coal, um, and stone. And we've got some green areas up here. I think I'm going to make our, our mines up here once we get to that. Um, but yeah, those are those. I do like the grid area. It is It does help to get things sort of set up properly. Now, do I want, where do I want to start our colony here? Now these, these things, these tents are going to be taken up. So it doesn't really matter exactly. Um, I actually might start with a few roads. So we're going to make a road up there. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And then let's get a road going that way. And, uh, no, I think that's fine. We'll do that. Production. No, homes. Uh, we're going to get this. And I think what I want is just a few houses, maybe along the center here. Or do I just want to put them off to the side? Tell you what, let's grab these and let's bring this down here and over this way. And grab the housing tents. Boom. Boom. There and there. And like I said, we'll probably take those up at some point here. So that's four right there. Um, we've got, if we take a look here, we've got five families total. So one family per household. So we're going to want one more home. I'm going to use a house, but I'm going to build that up here with our production buildings that we're going to build. Um, so we need a gatherers area. So as you can see, depending on where you play, plop this, we've got work efficiencies here. So I want to plop this in a high work efficiency area. Um, I'm trying to think, like, I thought there was a, I thought I saw one that was like 100 and some. Now that's going to go down just because you're going to be clearing some trees in order to build it. And we're going to be popping down a few other things as well. I'm thinking 109 might... Oh, no, there it is. I was going to say, I knew there was some place that was 111. Um, let's get that. Plop there. We are going to need a Forester's Bit. So we're going to put you over here as well. Now, can we get a... Uh, we're going to just have to deal with a non-111% there. Uh, we're going to put you... Well, that's awkward. Urgh. We're going to put you facing this way. Oop. And hunting lodge, yes. We're going to plop you right there. And then we are going to put this other house right here. like so roads we're going to continue up this way and go all the way across like that perfect and this game actually has something really neat it has a road sign which does increase foot movement within its radius so if we take a look here helps your citizens find their way quicker they move five percent faster while near the roadside so we're going to want some coverage of this so i'm going to put one right there and then um let's do maybe one up here and one right there okay so we've got that mapped out I am going to pause a few things. We're going to pause the signs. Boop, boop. And the hunting lodge. We're going to want the food, so we're going to start with that. Road signs. We'll get this stuff going, because I think we'll be okay to, to work on that. I do want the homes prioritized, though. So we're going to focus on these tents. And then get this one prioritized and then work on the actual um, forestry and food collection. So, yeah, that's good. All right, let's head back out. Um, it 
Did I hide something? I might have hide the, hid the trees. There we go. <laughs> Must have hit T or something. All right. What I was going to say is we're going to go ahead and clear some trees here to get some wood. Do, uh, just get rid of all of these trees over here. We'll gather the stone that we can see. And we'll gather the metal as well. Yep, we've got a housing shortage. That's fine. Uh, if we take a look at our jobs board, we currently have 10 workers. We have a courier job. So we're going to give one person to the courier job here. Uh, couriers are specialist workers dedicated to carrying resources around the town to and from the warehouses and production buildings. Unlike workers, carriers do not construct buildings, but they do transport resources 10% faster. So the workers are generic people. They will um, do most jobs, I think. Does all sorts of jobs like carrying resources around, constructing buildings. Um, but they do your. They are your main constructors. They are your constructors. So you're going to always want some um, workers here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys all need some people here. Blah, blah, blah. We are going to get um, Depot queued up here. Uh, where am I going to want this? I think I'm going to want it over here. Okay, we can't go there. Because that sign... Where is that sign going to be? It's right here. So we're going to put a path there. Followed by a depot right here. There we go. And we'll kick up the speed a little bit. Hopefully this tent gets done because we still have some homeless. But if we click on one of these, we can see that the residents here are... We can hover over here and we can see who, who's living here right now. Uh, we've got Harmon, we've got Ames, and their two children. And they're both workers. Perfect. Alright, so that's done up here. This area is getting cleared out, which is lovely. So that should get finished soon. <laughs> oh, right. Up here, I am going to want another depot. So we're going to put this depot right here. I think. And I'll probably put another house up here as well once we get a little bit more resources together. Alright, so that house is good and ready. And hopefully... Oops. Let's go ahead. The shelter here. We're going to grab one person, throw them into here. It would be nice if um, that profession came up here, but I think we should have probably stopped that from coming up or being built so soon. But oh well, I, they may readjust where they live. Uh, in my test game, they were. it did seem like they were going towards the jobs, like they were trying to live close to their workplace. Uh, Forester's Hut, we're going to add that. Someone needs to get some... Um, oops, I don't want to prioritize that. I want to allow it to be built. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, but yeah, we want to get some forestry going on. We could expand. Now, in this game, we do have upgrades for some for most of the buildings. Um, even your... Your houses have various different upgrades. We could upgrade to a stone house once we've researched that. We've got insulation where we can get coins and lumber, or sorry, it costs coins and lumber, but our um, firewood and coal upkeep is lessened. So we're definitely gonna wanna get that going fairly quickly. And forestry hut has various different fertilizer. Um, do -do -do which allows for faster tree growth because the forester will plant and cut. Uh, we've got expansion, which will add another slot, and we've got improved axes, which increases production. So good stuff. And all of these places have various different things, I think. So that monthly produced is not indicative of what we're doing right now. 
so I think we're going to want some upgrades fairly soon. But for right now, I think we're okay. I'm going to go ahead and allow that to be built. Okay, there's our Hunter's Lodge, so we're going to go ahead and enable that. Give that to someone. We still have six people, so should be okay. Now, we're going to do our first research. We're going to do a fisherman's hut. Because, if we take a look at the thing here, allows construction of the fisherman's hut, the best source of fresh fish and crab. Hmm. So, we're going to do that. We'll set that up over here. Alright, we've cleared this out fairly nicely. We've got our little tents going. <laughs> and I think I am going to build another home over here. So, let's go here. We are going to build a house. Put on our grids. And plop that down. Okay, so I want to check to see how our food's doing soon, rather than later. Because um, that is going to be the crux of things. We're not going to want to run out of food, because it is very unforgiving. Okay, so let's take a look at our workforce. We still have six. We've got one going to be earmarked for... Um, well, maybe not. Uh, we've got one there. We've got two here. Monthly produce. Yeah, 20 seed monthly. Yeah, we need a lot more. So we're going to add another sh gatherer shelter here. Another worker for a gatherer. And we might even boost its production. Let's boost that up. And I might even do another expansion. And throw in one more person. Because we do not want to run out of food. Not in the least. Okay. So now we've got the fisherman's hut. We can come over here and take a look at where we want to put this. I think I'm going to put this down here. Maybe not right on the edge of the, like, the waterfall here, but close. I think I'm going to put it right there. And then we'll make up some roads. Put on those grids. Um... What's that? I'm trying to I'm trying to think of how I want my my town laid out. I mean, we can always remove the roads down the line, so let's just do that for now. And build a a sign down there so they know where they're going. So, as far as depots are concerned, I believe they're all a combined um, stockpile. So, no matter where they put it in, because at least from what I can tell, you click on one, you get all your stockpile from across the map. Um, it doesn't show that like this item is in this stockpile or in that stockpile, so I think it's all one shared stockpile. But I could be wrong on that. <laughs> but that's what it definitely seems to be. Um, here's a summary of all your city's resources and stockpile capacity. Some of all your warehouses and depots. You can track. You can also track individual resource trends, and set a maximum co possible cap for each of them to optimize your stockpile capacity and production chains at a cost of a possible resource loss. Yeah, that doesn't really. I mean, it does say it's a summary, um, but yeah, it's no. Does it show me if I hover over it? No, it does not. Okay, so I, I don't know. If you have any idea, please let me know in the um, in the comments. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give a fisherman. And I am going to build a house down here. A little fisherman's hut. Um, yeah, we'll build it right there. That's going to be fine. And there's something else I was going to build. Oh, right, this, the shelter. So shelters are different. They are they are, as it says, a fine solution when your town gets too crowded too fast. But it should only be temporary. Citizens living in the shelter suffer a penalty to happiness, and don't expect them to have any children. So we, I'm gonna build one of these. Um, I'm actually gonna put it uh, right by our main town center here. 
And this is going to be for emergencies only. Uh, or do I want to build it over here? No, I'll build it right here. That's fine. Um, just as an overflow for when we need, just in case we don't have enough houses or something, uh, that'll give me a notification that, hey, we should probably build more houses. I am going to prioritize the house, though. That's going to be important. I'm also going to build a stockpile, I think, over by the fish. So they don't have to move far in order to get this delivered. Oh, wait. Wait a little bit. Um, so, food is going up, but not like, not really what I would like. Um, I am going to go ahead and boost our nets to increase our production of our fishermen huts. The problem with the expansion is we just don't have the, the workforce right now to, to facilitate it. So, yeah, there's a couple other things we can do. Um, so, if we take a look at our other area here. Cleared path. Increase herbalist hut efficiency if near a gatherer's shelter. So we can increase the herbalist, but that's not really going to do much um, for our food. But it leads to tracking prey, which will increase the hunting lodge efficiency if near a herbalist hut. So something to keep in mind. We don't quite have herbalist. Herb, we don't have a herbalist yet, but we will. Um, I'll probably build one up here because it will need um, to be in this area. So I think what I'll do, that's 111%. Let's go ahead and put you down right there. But I'm gonna pause you for now. Okay, let's take a look at our houses here. Are any of our tents empty? Yes, these ones are. Uh, I am going to go ahead and bulldoze them. Just to get them out of the way. Poop. And poop. We don't get any resources back for the tents. Um, and there may be a trigger on how long you how long before you lose resources by demolishing. Ooh, no firewood in stock. Okay, so that is an oops on my part. Now, we need... Production. Where is it? Sawmill. Let's get a sawmill down. Uh, I am going to put this one over here. Probably should have had that down a lot sooner. I'm going to prioritize getting this built. It should get built pretty quickly. Um, and we'll try to expedite that once it gets, um, or just get the efficiency up a little bit more. Where are we at August? So we're still in summer, so it's not stupendously uh, needed, but we'll want to get this quite, quite quickly here. And then, all right, so people are bringing resources over. I'm still trying to gauge whether or not these are their own stockpiles or or what. Hmm, let's see, in and out. Total bot sold. Yeah. Well, hmm. Interesting. Okay, you're done, sawmill. Let's quickly get a person there. Um, recycling. Okay, we don't really have that. That's gonna cost quite a bit. I might go with. Do I want to invest that large sum. It will save us some lumber in the long run doesn't really boost production. We can go ahead and reduce the garbage. Um, we'll try to save some lumber the things. Go ahead and build that. Let's... Uh, do I want to demolish? Oh no, I want to build more houses actually. Oh, put one over here. No. Oh, so sad. Really hoping I could put one right there. Oh well. 
Um, let's go over here. Let's put one right there. Roads and bridges. Put a house. We can squeeze in some houses over here as well once this one gets built. <laughs> now, over here, are you... No, you're the hunter. <laughs> where's our Where's our fisherman? Worker. Yeah, there's shelter. Do I not have... I thought I had another home over here. Yeah, right there. Carrier gather. Hmm. There's our fisherman right there. <laughs> Alright, did I forget anything else? We got the sawmill. We are now making firewood, which is good because we are going to need it for the winter. We'll go ahead and set that to be built. What's our workforce looking like? Okay, we're at two. So actually, we are going to go ahead and pause the herbalist hut. Alright, here comes the house, here comes the house. Alright, who took in this? The woodcutter and the fisherman. Go ahead and delete this one. Demolish building. Right, who's living here right now? We've got a gather, two gatherers. Really should have a house up here. To be perfectly honest. Um, forestry. Really, I'm wondering if people will... Well, I guess this is a good test. Um, so we currently have a house up here. Worker, worker. If I plop a house down here, I'm one... I wonder if... We'll be able to get them to... Move. If people will reshuffle or something. Um, let's put a... Put a house over there. And then get everybody into at least a proper home. Okay, how's our food? Alright, we are producing more than we're using, which is good. Um, we are producing more firewood now. It's a little bit late. I'm hoping we can stockpile this quickly. I don't know, because we don't have the jobs. We don't have the workforce to, to warrant an increase there. Gather, gather. Yeah, so far they 